There's many reasons why this relation of encompassment has been subverted through the Islamic presence today in a way that no other immigrant minority has subverted this relation. One, and again, I am not saying this is how it is for all Muslims or for etc. But there are what we might call today seriously religious Muslims. And it would apply to seriously religious anybody. But it so happens today that there's a lot of seriously religious Muslims. And the seriously religious Muslims are seriously religious, more than anybody else I've seen in my lifetime about being serious about their religion. If you are a seriously religious Muslim, you believe that you are subjected to the law of God. Now, the law of God has to rule your everyday life in all kinds of ways. Now, it seems to me that it is easy for a national culture to encompass the law of eating salami. But it is not easy for it to say, the law of God has a little place here. And you can live the law of God as long as the law of Australia controls the law of God. This is, by its very nature, problematic. The law of God cannot be encompassed it is all encompassing. And for a seriously religious Muslim, there is a subversion of the relation of encompassment. That is, I can live in Australia as long as the law of Australia can be encompassed within the law of God. There's no way I'm going to accept that the law of God is going to be encompassed by what John Howard said, or even the founding fathers, God bless them all. This is one mode in which this relation of encompassment is subverted. 